our flag bearer is James Tompkins. An Olympic veteran chosen to fly the Aussie flag at tonight's opening ceremony. Princess Mary drops in to give our athletes a royal reception. Look forward to following them when they're not competing against the Danes. <laughs> and the Socceroos draw first blood as they kickstart their Olympic campaign. This is Seven's Early News with Sharon Gadella. Good morning. Veteran Olympian James Tompkins has been named Australia's flag bearer for tonight's opening ceremony of the Beijing Games. The announcement was made at a special team reception last night where the excited athletes partied with Denmark's Princess Mary. Today they prepare to go for gold. So much excitement and anticipation, they barely needed a drum roll before the big announcement. Our flag bearer is James Tompkins. The veteran of six Olympic Games, triple gold medalist and member of the current men's eight rowing team, the obvious choice to lead the Australians into tonight's opening ceremony. To say that I'm delighted to uh, be given this honour is a massive, massive understatement. 433 athletes make up the Australian Olympic team. Last night they had Natalie Bassingthwaite and Shannon Knoll for entertainment on stage. Don't give up now, we're proud of who you are. Former PM John Howard and Princess Mary mingling among the guests. I'm sure the Australian athletes will do very well at the Olympics, as they always do, and I'm looking forward to following them when they're not competing against the Danes. <laughs> the Danish royal couple, a hit with the Aussies. Yeah, she's gorgeous. <laughs> it was fantastic, yeah. No, they're really lovely people and happy to have a chat with us. One final celebration before our athletes get the chance to make their gold medal dreams a reality. The entire Australian nation is behind you, every man, woman and child. Earlier, the Prime Minister joined Australia's athletes at a hot and humid flag-raising ceremony in the Olympic Village. A welcoming speech from the Olympic Village Mayor. In this village, you will experience a green Olympics, a high-tech Olympics and a people's Olympics. And a welcoming song from a Chinese children's choir. They even joined in for the team photo. Jackets off for the unofficial happy snaps. All part of the Olympic family. Julia Fedder, 7 News. At midnight, hundreds of people gathered around Beijing's official countdown clock to celebrate the moment it ticked over to zero. The Games don't officially get underway until after the opening ceremony, which begins at 10 o'clock tonight, Australian Eastern Time. That's when the Olympic torch will end its marathon 130-day journey around the globe at the lighting of the cauldron in the spectacular Bird's Nest Stadium. US President George W. Bush has flown into a storm of controversy on his arrival in Beijing last night. Chinese authorities have reacted angrily to a speech he made yesterday in Thailand criticizing China's human rights record. The United States believes the people of China deserve the fundamental liberty that is the natural right of all human beings. China says no one has any right to interfere in another country's internal affairs. Kevin Rudd has also promised to raise human rights issues when he meets President Hu Jintao tomorrow.